going on everyone this is Rahul from True Tech and this is a second episode of Ask TT in which I answer the questions you guys send us using the hashtag Ask TT so let's get started I have the questions with me right here and I'll be answering them of course these are the main sources of earning through YouTube AdSense affiliate marketing and sponsored videos but of course if you have a creative channel or if you know how to design you can sell merchandise of your own which again becomes a good income source or you could sell your services like optimizations you can make tutorials on them you can sell courses about them if you want to learn more about them the link in description you can surely check it out and on to the next question i use final cut pro x for most of my video editing purposes on my macbook pro early 2015 13 inch retina and for the animations and all i use after effects if you didn't know i already don't have an adsense account and which is very demotivating and i'm not able to earn of course um but i'll continue creating um youtube videos and blogging because that's my passion and what changes google should make to adsense programs so that creators don't get demo- demotivated is that google should make ads more advanced each and every google service is top notch today and and adsense just falls short in front of them because look at youtube a top notch video network look at adwords a top notch advertising network but what about adsense well it's still dumb in that sense that it still doesn't block ad serving if malicious users occur google always stops traffic from malicious ip addresses why can't they stop showing ads to malicious ips it's like they can do it but they aren't doing it due to which us creators have to suffer and then we get demotivated and leave the platform well my future plans okay in 10 years i'm i'm going to answer the closer question because i'm not sure what will happen in 10 years my future plans for 2017 and ahead are the following first of all i plan to debut a new site that is pledge news alongside true tech and i also plan to launch an umbrella network under which true tech and fledge news and other sites i debut are going to be linked under so that's it and then i plan to move to us or canada for my future studies i plan to study graphic design bachelor's of fine arts or bachelor's of arts in the us or canada and probably i'll set up my studio over there i was actually going to set up a studio here in my city but the problem is that i'm moving out already and the place would be just a waste it the place actually still exists but it's a closed chamber right now okay so i've got a lot of questions on my income sources and yes i'm going to answer that so first is sponsored posts advertisements sponsored videos and paid videos That doesn't mean I create biased reviews. I just get paid to either review the product or to mention the company's name. So yes, these are my main income sources. Apart from that, I design products on Postergalley and a few other sites. If you guys want to check it out, links in description. And also, I do logo designing. So if you guys want um, a 2D or a really good logo designed, links in description again. Well, iOS is too constrained. Well, I got an iPhone six as a birthday gift long, long ago. I think when it was launched, but it wasn't for me. I used it for a week and gave it to my brother, who is of course an Apple fanatic. Android, you know, it's more open, it's easier to operate, and like where iOS has a longer way to do it, Android has a shorter way. So in that sense, it's also faster. And overall, I like the Android feel as well. Well, if you're going for video editing, web designing and photo retouching, this thing, the MacBook is super. But your prime concern is value for money. Windows laptops is what you go for because Macs are always overpriced, but they live up to their expectations. You know, they have super optimized software, they have super fast copying speeds and super optimized editing softwares. I mean, it's top notch in that sense, but again, it's overpriced. So if you're looking for value for money, Windows laptops, they aren't bad as well. Uh, if you get a high performing one, again, it's a decent choice, but Macs for video editing and web designing if you want to spend that much 
For a disabled AdSense account, um, all you can do is fill out that form, which is usually not accepted. You can't do anything else. And review units, yes, if you can convince the brand that you can provide them the exposure they need and you can provide them value or provide value to their products, of course they will send you review devices. But again, don't confuse this with biased reviews or you know, faking impressions because that will again affect your channel only. It will result in you losing your audience. So it's not about biased reviews, it's about if you can um, provide the brand with proper exposure or what the product needs. If you can't convince them with that, they will surely send you a review device. So initially I had so many so many ventures like TrueTech and this was the very first one which had some philosophy behind the name. I thought a lot about it and what TrueTech reflects is validity, verified or original opinions over products or anything uh, in the tech industry. So yes, that's how I came up with the name. Yes, I talked about office recently um, a while back that I was gonna set up an office but the problem here is that I'm moving out very soon as I said earlier and workers yes I have a few people who write articles on true tech apart from that I have people at the email team who manage press relations also they manage social relations with other brands or other blogs everything so yeah my gear right I'm shooting on the Canon 700D which is attached on Fortron Steady 560 Pro tripod um, I have my MacBook for editing Final Cut Pro X as a software, Samsung Go Mic for my voiceovers. If 1 million subs weren't true love already, I'd go for 10 million subs. That is true love. You can't argue with that. Well, that's it for this Q&A video. I'm really sorry if I couldn't answer your question. There were just too many questions to, you know, filter through. And if I didn't answer your question now, I'll surely try to answer it in the next video. And if you have any new burning questions, do leave them in the comment section below or on our social media posts with the hashtag AskTT and I'll surely try to answer it in the next video. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked this video. And if you did, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Also comment on this video, share this video and subscribe to the channel if you're new. See you in the next one, guys.